this is Fleckus coming at you live from Tom Brady, Tom Bradley, ooh, International Airport. Who am I standing here with? Uh, Jeremy S Jeremy, and tell us what you're here for and how long you've been doing this. Uh, this is actually my first day I came here because um, I know a lot of people are passionate about, uh, about, I'm actually passionate about being here and t having my voice heard and uh, Cool, yeah, and a lot of people do feel that way. Uh, I'm here with Anonymous. Hi. I'm here with Kyla Mullen. Kyla Mullen. And what are you protesting today and how long have you been here for? Um, I'm protesting the Muslim ban. He did it because of 9-11, but the countries that the terrorists were from aren't even in the ban. The countries that he is banning don't have, you know, they're not the terrorists that came for 9-11. The terrorists in 9-11 did train in these countries. Right, that's true, but they didn't come from those countries. The terrorists that um, did 9-11 trained in all the countries that are banned. Um, well, just like everyone's so scared, well, these people are going to come and bomb us. What, because there's one, a, a few extremists in the batch? Like, no. That's do you think that if we didn't have an additional vetting process that this would be a perfect opportunity for the extremists to come in and do what they want to do? Irregardless, that's not fair to say. Irregardless is not a word. That isn't fair to say. You can't say, well, we need to vet these people because they're angry because we're bombing them. I mean, there's a process. There's a, there's a process. So there's still, the process still exists for these people. I think, um, well, I mean, Trump's... Um, uh, fired a uh, fired one of the. So anything besides full on legal documentation, you are not you. You will be stopped. You are vetted. You are definitely. No, you're you're detained for and asked more questions because you were hanging around in countries that are terrorist hotbeds. It doesn't. You're you're letting the United States government like brainwash you, thinking like. These I think you're letting Instagram and Facebook brainwash you into thinking you're doing something. I have had one-on-one -on -one conversations with people from Syria. Do you need to know exactly what sources you're getting your information from? Because if you ask anyone in Syria right now, they'll tell you that they had a perfectly fine democratic society. Anyone in Syria? If you're gay in Syria, you get thrown off a roof. That's Syria! I had a personal conversation with Chief Standing, uh, Standing Bull, Sitting Bull from the Sioux tribe. A personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with the chief of the Sioux tribe, so I know exactly what's going on. I don't just believe what I hear. I go and talk to people firsthand and get their stories and find out what's going on. Do you on. think that there's bad people that you're not getting the story from? Have you ever uh, talked to a terrorist? I have talked to extremists, yes. Where? Do you want to know why they're so angry? Where did that you talk matter. to this extremist? I will never say that on your camera, no. See, where is it in America? It, irregardless, please do not ask me. Irregardless isn't a word. Right. Please do not ask me that. This is serious. I'm not so, like... So no. so you have America's best interest, but you've spoken with extremists, and you won't tell the authorities of who these people are? Why would I say that on camera? I don't know. I'm, that's exactly. why I want to know why you would say that on camera. You have no common sense to, to ask me that question on camera. Obviously, you have no common sense to say that you've spoken to terrorist extremists and did not report it. Yes. No, I have not. Never, never, never. We'll check the tape, I guess. Do you think that everyone shouldn't go through that process? Yeah, everyone sh should go through a vetting process. Okay, cool. Thank you for speaking with me, man. It was good meeting you. Thank you for coming out here. Thank you. Thanks. Cool. Um, who did you vote for? Um, I did not vote. Oh. <laughs> the whole time? You didn't vote? Oh, man. All right. Well, any closing statements? Um, Russia is trying to conquer this country, industrialize, kick the Native Americans off their land, keep Muslims out of here because they're against industrialization. And maybe you should talk to more people from different countries and not just believe everything the mainstream media tells you. Thank maybe you should interview more terrorists. The, like in this case, the media created a monster to be defeated by Hillary, and she kind of missed the dunk. Yeah, she tried her best. Three million votes ahead of him, or 2.8 million votes ahead of him, but unfortunately we have the Electoral College, so we're stuck with him now. Do you remember where you were when you found out that Bernie Mac died? <laughs> oh man, this was like five, six years ago? Uh, It'll be nine years this August. Okay, uh, nine years ago. Uh, man, 